to nothing. Injury report brought to you by St. Joseph. St. Joseph, your official health care provider of Texas A&M Athletics. So far, the Demons have not been able to get it over half court, and another turnover. It's tipped out of their hands, and it belongs to the Aggies again. You know, these Lady Demons, are they really on a tough road schedule right now. The last part of the schedule, they get to finish at home, but right now, everything seems to be on the road. Tip on uh, to Sierra Johnson, or excuse me, inbound to Sierra. Sierra put it up, and she got to hung on on the arm, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. Sierra Johnson. Yeah, talking about this team, you were talking about it. As a matter of fact, this is the uh, first of five straight road games for this Demon team. As they take on the Aggies tonight, they're going to be at uh, Houston Baptist, Incarnate Word, McNeese, and Nichols. As Sierra Johnson makes the first free throw, it's five to nothing. Aggies on top. Yeah, eight of the nine, next nine are on the road. But again, if you're looking at conference, they get to finish conference at home, and hopefully by then they've come together and gelled under the new system. Sierra misses the second free throw. It's five to nothing. Demons get it over uh, half court. They get the ball out. This is a uh, three ball from the left side by Harris. Aaron Harris just hit a three. That'll stop the bleeding just like that and make it a five to three game. Nixon into Sierra. Sierra puts it up off the glass, up and in. It's seven to three. Aggies on top. Full court pressure again by the Aggies. And it makes them throw it away. So a third turnover already in this game, forced by the Texas A&M defense. Yeah, yeah it is. It, the Aggies really, I talked about wanting to work on your half court defense. Bob Starkey said we don't even want them to get across half court. But again, I think they're just trying to set the tone. If Gary Blair wants to play 15 players, he wants to build that early lead and not have to make some tough decisions about substitutions. That ball went to Brad Welber, the play-by-play uh, -play man for the uh, Northwestern State Demons as uh, he tried to get the assist on that. That was about up to the 10th row on that one. <laughs> there you go. Wilson to uh, Johnson and Sierra with her fourth point of the game and her second field goal, fifth point of the game. She's got one from the line also. And the Aggies lead 9-3. And the Demons are playing the man-to-man -man defense. And, you know, when you're a new coach, you're going to run your system no matter what. And you got to give Coach Nims, you know, credit. She's not coming out playing a zone, trying to match up a little bit better. Tristan Washington tried to split a couple of defenders and get the ball over to Cummings, but she put her sneaker on the line. It's another turnover on the Demons, and that's already four turnovers here on the Demons in less than two minutes of play. You credit that to the Aggie defense on all four of them. Here's Nixon. Nixon tried to get the ball. There's a turnover by Texas A&M. Quick hands there by Aaron Harris to get that on the steal. And they'll set things up. Tristan Washington, she's the quarterback. She'll set things up in the back, in the shallow in the back, in the backcourt. Now get the ball to Aaron Harris over on the right wing. She'll reverse it left side to Cummings. Cummings back to Harris, but the ball gets away. Aaliyah Wilson has it on the steal. One on one, puts it up. It's no good, but she got fouled by Harris going to the bucket, and she'll go to the line and earn them there. Again, nice communication by the Aggies. They were a little confused on who had who, but they finally got straight. And then when they started the weave right there, they did a nice job of switching, and Aaliyah Wilson was able to get in that passing lane, make the steal, and almost come down for the three-point play. Aaliyah Wilson, Aaliyah Wilson. Wilson goes to the uh, free throw line. Aliyah, the uh, transfer, graduate student from Muskogee, Oklahoma, the transfer from Arkansas. She makes the first free throw. It's 10 to 3. She comes in a 57% uh, free throw shooter for the season, 62% for her career. And she ups that some because she just made them both, and it's 11 to 3. Aggies on top, just under just seven and a half minutes left to play here in the first quarter. Here's the Demons with the ball. This is Aaron Harris. She's going to play the two now, go over to the left side. As she gets the ball to uh, Tristan Washington. Washington now dribbles over to the left wing, being guarded there by Jordan Nixon. One to try to get it inside to Julia Sion. 
Instead, gets it uh, inside to Doucette. Doucette with a turnaround jumper, 14-footer. It's in and out, won't go. Rebound, Sierra Johnson. Aggies have the basketball. This is Jordan Nixon. Nixon stops her dribble over on the right wing, gives it to Sierra Johnson. Bounce pass inside to Jones. India out to Kayla. Kayla with a three from the corner. Kayla Wells just hit a three ball from that left corner. And for Wells, that's her fourth three ball of the year and her 92nd three ball of her career. Nice shot, and the Aggies lead it 14 to three. Kayla Wells has been very active starting this ball game again over there. <laughs> takes a tumble by the bench, but you know, Kay Kayla was struggling. She really was with her shot early in this year. Maybe this break is what she's needed because she just looks like a different player than she was prior to this break. Yeah, she was hustling for that ball and slid into Coach Bob Starkey that time. Out of bounds, though, on the hustling Kayla Wells. And the inbound comes into Washington, and we've got a whistle foul on Texas A&M. They're going to get Jordan Nixon again. Jordan had the double team by Kayla Wells, so she would have just taken a bigger drop step and let the player come, and then Kayla would have come for the double team, but she kept riding her and riding her. She didn't, I don't think there was communication between Kayla and her letting her know that double team was coming. Demons inbound the ball. This is uh, Cummings over on the left wing. Now get the ball back to Tristan Washington. Washington dribbles to the left wing, lobs it over in the corner to Cummings. Cummings three ball, she hit it from the corner. Osha Cummings, nice shot there from the corner, and it's a 14 to six Aggie lead. Both of their field goals in the game have been three balls. Aggie showed, looked like they were in a little zone as soon as they made the first pass, though, kind of jumped into a, a, a trapping man defense on that last possession. Jumper Wilson, 12 footer from the right side. And Aaliyah Wilson gets the bucket. Wilson has four points in the game. It's a 10-point lead for the Aggies, 16 to 6. 5.54 left to play here in the first quarter of the game. Anessa Doucette has the ball. Now gets it over to Tristan Washington. Washington dribbles the ball. Shallow in the front court. Now get it to Sion. Sion's going to try a three. It's off the glass and the rim and into the hands of Sierra Johnson. Johnson quickly down to Jordan Nixon, down to Aaliyah Wilson, and Wilson puts it up and in. Nice ball movement there. You know, the Lady Demons went to Waco, and there was a similar start, too, against the, the Baylor Bears. So, you know, again, yeah. they, they know. But this is when, as a coach, you just have to keep telling your players, do what we've worked on and just get better. Here's Washington. Washington gets the ball over to uh, Cummings. Cummings now down to Aaron Harrison. Yeah, they played at Baylor, and uh, so they, they're obviously not shying away in this rebuilding effort from playing tough teams as uh, Washington goes in, gets the ball blocked there by uh, Leah Wilson, and but then gets the ball back, puts it up, no good. Wilson with the rebound, quickly down to Wells, and nice. Dia Jones and put it up and in. Four players touch the ball on that possession, and the Aggies are up 20 to six. So Kayla Wells again is showing a lot right there. Made the extra pass, the eat. So uh, India Jones, she would have had a tough shot, but she gave it up to a teammate who had an easier shot. Here's Doucette. Doucette goes into the double team. Whistle foul. They'll call the Aggies. Is it going to be on India Jones? Or? Yep, it was on India Jones, and we've got a timeout with 4:32 left to play here in the first quarter. We'll be back. It's Aggie basketball from Lear and the University of Tennessee and McDonald's All-American. Yeah. It doesn't get much better than those three things on your resume. You finish, you you follow girls, <laughs> women's basketball. You've heard of those three things. First shot. Zay Green in and out, no good. She did it from the baseline. Rebound though by Ella, out to Jones. Jones shoots, three ball, Sahara Jones, and she made it from the top of the key. Sahara Jones, nice shot. And for uh, Sahara, that's her second three-pointer here of her Aggie career. It's 23 to eight. Here's a steal. Steal by uh, Morris, and Morris gonna come all the way down, put it up, not enough on it, it's no good. Rebound though by Texas A&M. That's Malia Johnson. Now Johnson has the ball over the left side, but she took an extra step. It's traveling and it belongs to the Demons. You know, and, and you, Gary Blair talked about it in that pregame show, you know, how Zay Green's got to learn her role, play her role, do what she has to do. And, and it's going to take a little while. You know, Alexis Morris, it took her a couple of games to, to try to figure out. And again, but it's awfully nice to have those two coming off the bench if you're Gary Blair. Demons have the basketball. This is Washington. Go over to the left wing to Aaron Harris. Back to Washington. They sort of exchange the ball over on the left wing. Here's Claudia Vidal who came in at that last time out. She's got the ball, give it to Cummings. Cummings dribbled the ball off of Morris's foot. Now the ball is on the floor. Now it's a fight for it. Tofiano and Vidal are fighting for it. It belongs to Texas A&M. The Aussie versus the Spaniard right there. 
Bella from and Australia and Vidal yep. from Barcelona. An international battle for the ball. Flair. Here we go. Here's Alexis Morris. She's playing the one. She brings it down over the timeline. Goes out to Zay Green. Green at the free throw line. Kicks it outside to uh, Jones. And Jones goes in baseline. <laughs> Gives it to uh, Topiano, and Topiano with the finish as she puts it up and in. Ella with the two points. It's 25 to 8 now. Aggies on top. It's Tristan Washington. Tristan Washington. She's dribbling. Uh, against uh, against uh, Sahara Jones. And Ball goes out of bounds, out of bounds on Texas A&M. It'll belong to the Demons out underneath their own basket. Nice defense by Alexis Morris. She really did a great job of just keeping her body in front and almost getting that turnover. Aaron Harris going to go to the top of the key and put it up. It's no good. Rebound by Malia Johnson. Aggies come down quickly. This is Alexa Morris. Morris takes the screen from Topiano. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Demons. It'll belong to the Aggies. Alexis Morris trying to split that double team right there. Just the Demons did a pretty good job of coming down. The ball went off one of their foot feet, and then the Aggies keep it with 23 on the shot clock. Inbound is Alexis Morris. Gets it into Zay Green. She's standing out the left of, on the left wing. Now she dribbles the ball, goes top of the key, tries to go through a double team. She gets trapped there, gets it back out to Morris. About 10 seconds on the shot clock. Morris with the ball, goes around Topiano's screen, now goes to the bucket. We've got a whistle and a foul. Somebody got Morris on the way to the basket. Team is foul number two, Tristan Washington. Foul is on Tristan. Washington, Tristan Washington. Morris will go to the free throw line. I wonder how many times you've seen, certainly in the first quarter of any basketball game, have you seen five players on the court for A&M, none of which, none of them were students at Texas A&M last year. Yeah, especially in the first quarter, like you said. <laughs> I mean, well, you, you know. got that right now. Yeah. I mean, not even Jordan Nixon, who was uh, redshirted last year or, or who was out because of being a transfer last year. All new faces for AM on the court right now as Morris makes a second free throw. It's 27 to 8 now as the Aggies are up by 19. We've got two and a half minutes left to play here in the first quarter. Full court pressure here for Texas AM. They get over the timeline, get the ball out to uh, Washington. Now Washington dribbles the ball out top of the key. Doucette is waiting for the ball. Instead, they bounce pass it to Claudia Vidal. But all the tallest player on the Demons team now gets it to uh, Vanette. Vanette, nice swing pass over, reversing it out to the left side to Washington. Washington shoots. It's no good. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by Topiano. It'll belong to the Demons. With one on the shot clock. So, you know, they're going to have to put up something quicker to throw something towards the goal. What you don't want to do is foul and get them out of this situation. Washington slaps the ball, almost ran out of time, gets it out to uh, Van Ant. There's the shot clock. She shot the three and made it, but just did not get it out of her hand quick enough. So it's going to go the Aggies' way. 27 to 8 is the score. Under two minutes now left to play in the first quarter. Aggies again on the court. Tofiano, Zay Green, Malia Johnson, Sahara Jones, and Alexis Morris. And yes, you're listening to Texas A&M women's basketball. If you're not familiar with any of those names <laughs> and you haven't listened to us this year. Morris gives it to, Malia jo to Jones, excuse me, Sahara Jones. Nice move through a couple of defenders, but she can't get the finish. It hangs on the rim. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Aggies. It'll belong to the Demons. Sahara showed you some of the moves she can make. She went behind her back and, and made a nice uh, drive, strong drive to the basket with her left hand. Just wasn't able to finish it, but again, Showing a little bit of the flash that, you know, you like to see from the freshman from San Antonio. Julia Sion comes back into the game for the Demons for Claudia Vidal. Tristan Washington dribbling against Alexis Morris. Now coming up to take her is Topiano. Now Washington goes in, got the ball slapped out of her hands there by Johnson. Come down all the way, and there, oh, the layup by Zay Green is no good. She's still looking for her first points of the game. She's disgusted with herself. She thought that would be her first two, but it just wouldn't stay in the bucket. And a minute left to play in the first quarter. The Aggies up by 19. And, and Tom, one of the things we need to talk about, Zay, as we look out there and we see that brace on her right knee, she was injured last yep. year. 
So again, as Gary Blair said, it's going to take her a little time to get back into game shape. Wide open for the three was Anessa Doucette. And the first person I look at over there is Bob Starkey on that because she was wide open. Nobody got on her, and she made them pay and hit a nice three from the corner. It's 27 to 11. Here's Morris driving to the basket, puts it up too hard off the back rim. Rebound comes out, fight for the ball. It comes up to Demon's way. This is Michaela Bennett into the ball game. She dribbles over to the right side. Now gets the ball out deep in the front court to Julia Sion. Coming out to get her is Johnson, Malia Johnson. If you just uh, following us here for the first time, here's Doucette. Doucette tries to get the ball over to Harris, but it's stolen there by Zay Green. And there's Zay's first two points of her Aggie career as she made it right there at the end of the first quarter. She got the steal, she got the bucket, and the Aggies lead it 29 to 11. Hey, if you need swag for your little bag, check out the new A&M Athletics Mail Delivery Kit Swag Boxes presented by St. Joseph Health. Junior Aggie and Baby Aggie box options with sibling discounts available for kids 12 and younger. Just go to junioraggieclub.com. This is Aggie basketball from Learfield IMG College. Us tonight, Trenton, hang in there, buddy. Play that harmonica, play it, play it loud. Your parents will love that. <laughs> Trenton's <laughs> listening to us. I got him a harmonica for Christmas, oh, and he they, can play. Yeah, they love him. <laughs> they love you now, That's too. That's right, to go with his guitar. <laughs> Out of bounds on the Aggies. They'll inbound it again, the Demons will. But Just you got some names that you're more familiar with, the starters yep. back in the lineup for uh, Gary Blair. 29 to 11. Here's a long three-pointer from the left side. In and out, no good by Van Nett. One and done. The rebound comes out to Aaliyah Wilson. Yep, got all five starters back into the game for the Aggies. Is Jordan Nixon. Out to Aaliyah Wilson over on the left wing. She's guarded by the screen by Sierra Johnson. The shot is short. Sierra's right there for the rebound. Kicks it back out to Nixon. 29 to 11, that's the score. It's the Aggies. Nixon gets it into Antia Jones. Jones against the double team, puts it up. It's no good. Nice defense there by Doucette and Zion. And one and done. And the Aggies and uh, the Demons, excuse me, get the ball back again, but not for long, as Jordan Nixon is right there to intercept with the steal. She goes all the way down. Nice pass to Indiana Jones, and Jones puts it right back up and in. Boy, nice pass there by Jordan Nixon. Again, the unselfish play has, truly, has really continued for the Aggies, and there is Jordan Nixon. Nixon did a nice job of holding it to the last second and dumped it off to India for a nice, easy shot. 20-point lead now for the Aggies. This is Doucette. Doucette goes into the lane and loses the basketball. Quick outlet to Adia Jones. Jones puts it up. She was a little bit off balance going to the basket and put it up short, no good. And Adia Jones is going to be called for the, the – was that a, the charge or was that a foul it on was the a rebound? Reach. No, it was a reach in. Yeah, a reach in. Okay. The from the demons had the ball and she was frustrated and tried to reach in and get it. I think Adia probably would have been better off had she just finished and gone ahead and gone up with the left hand. But I think, like you said, she was out of sorts, so she was trying to go back to her right hand that she's much more comfortable with, and it just really threw her off even more. That was her second personal foul. Demons do a weave on the outside. Now get the ball into Vant to – Oh, excuse me, Sion. Sion puts it up. It's way off. No good. Rebound comes down to Kayla Wells. Aggies lead by 20, 31 to 11. Just over eight minutes left to play here in the second quarter. Jordan Nixon has it on the left side. Hook pass to the baseline to Aaliyah Wilson. Wilson goes to the rack, puts it up. It goes over the rack. No good. Rebound by Adia Jones. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Demons. It'll belong to AM underneath their own basket. Aggies really doing a nice job. Now they're starting those shots that were falling earlier, just kind of rolling around the rim. Got to finish them. Inbound to Wilson. Wilson quickly guarded there by Van Nett. Now Wilson gets away nice from look. her, gets it over to Sierra Johnson. Johnson gets bumped, bumped pretty hard there by Julia Sion. I think that was on the floor. Yeah, but that was on the floor before the shot by Sierra. Well, I love the position there by Leah Wilson, so unselfish. Had a nice little 10-foot jump shot and gave it to the big girl for an easy, easier shot. Inbound Wells. Wells turnaround jumper falling away. Eight-footer from the left side, and Wells puts it up in the end. It's 33 to 11. Wells has seven points in the game. Here's the Demons with the ball. This is Aaron Harris. Harris going against Wells. Shoots in and out. No good. Rebound by India Jones. 
not letting the Demons get a lot of second chances at all. This is Nixon. Nixon to Sierra Johnson. Johnson goes in, gets fouled. Fouled that time by Julia Sion, so Sierra will have to earn it from the line. Coming into the game, Mackenzie Green will make her first appearance in the game, along with Destiny Pitts making her first appearance in the game. So now uh, Gary Blair has 12 of the 15 uh, players in the, in, in the game now. You beat me on the mat. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to go real big and put uh, Anna and Kenyell Perry in it that go 6-6-6-5 six, 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 at the same time. <laughs> That'll be a new look for the Aggies this year. Sierra makes the first free throw. It's 34-11. to 11. And the uh, second free throw is good. 35-11, 7-25 left to play here in the second quarter. It's Tristan Washington has the ball, gets it over to Harris. Harris taking the screen there by Vidal. Here's a three-pointer from the outside. This is uh, Coach Akaru. Coach Acario, excuse me, first time I had an opportunity to say that name. Andrea Coach Acario is her name. She tried it from the corner. It was no good. Rebound comes out. It's Texas A&M's ball. Mackenzie Green will bring it down with seven minutes to play here in the second quarter. Now the Demons have gone to a 2-3 control. Dump the ball into Sierra Johnson. Johnson backing up against Vidal and puts it up in. 37 to 11. Yeah, Vidal's trying to match up Sierra Johnson, who just kind of banged her a couple times. Usually those international posts aren't accustomed to some of that physical play. Long two-pointer by Tristan Washington. It's off. No good. Destiny Pitts comes up with the loose ball, gets it to Mackenzie Green. Green is one on five right now, so she waits for her teammates, goes out to Pitts, Pitts to Wells. Wells with the head fake out to Pitts. Three ball, in and out, no good. Rebound, Sierra puts it up and in. Sierra Johnson with the putback, nice rebound. And now Northwestern's going to go ahead and call it. It's 39 to 11, 620 left to play in the uh, second quarter, and we'll take the break too. We'll be back. Taggy basketball from Manchester today at 12thman.com slash maroon contest. Texas Farm Bureau Insurance, proud partner of Texas A&M Athletics. And he's will be back here on this court on New Year's Eve at 6 p.m. to start SEC play. As uh, Zay Green's former team, the Tennessee Volunteers, will be coming to Reed Arena to start SEC play. New Year's Eve, 6 o'clock. Tap and I'll be here to talk about it starting at a quarter to six. I'll try to clear my schedule. There you go. <laughs> for New Year's Eve. Erin Harris has the ball. She hook passes it outside to Kaylin Green. As if we needed another green on the court. Here's Mackenzie Green after the uh, no good by Kaylin Green. Aggies have the ball. This is Kayla Wells. She goes baseline left side, puts it up short. No good. Rebound by Tristan Washington of the Demons. So, yeah, we've got four greens in uniform tonight. Three for Texas A&M and one for Northwestern State. On a Draymond eyes on that floor now. So, exactly. again, four, what the, exactly. what's the number? 13? We're at 13, 13. Now. We don't have uh, Kenyal uh, Perry. Perry or, or KK Green. Here's a, a three ball by Kalen Green, and it's no good. Rebound by Pitts. Pitts out to McKenzie Green. That means the Aggies have the ball. Give it to Adia Jones out at the top of the key. Go left side to Kayla Wells. Wells goes around the screen by Adia. Give it to Pitts. Her three ball this time is good. She's one for two from out there. She does those mighty good. And Pitts now three balls. That's number 17 for the year. She leads the team in threes. I'm sure if we asked Destiny what she did over the break, I went home and shot. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just shot. Yeah. I took off 10 minutes for Christmas dinner, then went out and shot again. Here's a turnover by the Demons. Bounced it off her foot quickly down to Mackenzie Green and up and in. Nice pass by Andrea Jones, yep. who was lead, led the break, but really gave the ball up early. And Aggies did a nice job on the trap again. Full court pressure by the Aggies. Aaron Harris gets over the timeline. Now it goes by uh, Kayla Wells. Gets it outside to Tristan Washington. Washington goes in, comes out to Vidal. Vidal shoots. It's off no good. Rebound, though, by Coach Akeru, and she gets her own rebound and puts it up and puts it in about 12 feet from the left side. Coach, Car Coach Cario. India Jones frustrated with herself because she could have come up with that rebound, but she turned and had her hands on her hip down by her side, and the ball went right over her head, and she had her hands up. It comes right to her. 
McKenzie Green to Wells. Wells goes into the paint, but bumping her along the way that time was Aaron Harris, and they'll call the foul on Harris. Wells, a nice job sort of sticking that shoulder out. Let Harris come in and bump it. Now we got substitutions. We're going to have three in and three out for the Demons, two in and two out for the Aggies. It's all right, Jones. The Aggies maybe back up this uh, full court pressure back to half court. Wells, second free throw, made them both. 46 to 13. Wells comes out. Malia Johnson comes in. So right now for the Aggies, you have uh, Pitts. Malia Johnson, Mackenzie Green, Anna Dremene, Sahara Jones and McKenzie And Sahara Green. Jones. It's there you go. Keep them all straight, Tom. There you go. I don't understand why you're all confused. <laughs> <laughs> only played 13 today. Aaron Harris loses the ball, and right there was McKenzie Green to start and try to grab it. But Coach uh, Anna Nims calls a timeout, so the, and Anna Nims said, hey, give me the job. And I tell you what, they got a good one who is known for rebuilding programs. The timeout is over, and it's going to go out of bounds. It's the inbound by the Demons. Out of bounds, last touch by Sahara Jones. It'll belong to the Aggie, to the Demons. This is her first D1 job, though, yep. and so she's done a great job at Kilgore, like you were saying, Tom, and and, and some other places. But Labette it, it, Community College in Kansas. I got to admit, I had was not familiar with that community college. Here's a uh, long three ball, and it does go long by Coach Acario. And one and done, the rebound comes out to Texas A&M. Sahara Jones has the ball, give it out to Green. Now go to Pitts over the left side. They're going to go inside to uh, Malia Johnson, but they're going to call an offensive foul on Malia Johnson. They're going to say that she was moving people out of the way a little bit too hard. Well, and I, it goes back to the Demons. I saw Coach Nims tell, tell her players earlier when Sierra Johnson was in, fall. <laughs> yeah. Make them make a call. And so that time the Demon fell. Is Doucette. She loses the ball on the dribble. It's picked up by Sahara Jones. Jones comes down. She'll go all the way. Puts it up and in. And she got fouled. She'll go to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Sahara Jones. That foul on uh, Coach Cario. <laughs> Nice finish right there by Sahara Jones. Picked up the loose ball. Showed she has some ability to take the ball to full length floor. She got bumped, still had the strength to the finish. A little bit of excitement showed from the freshman there. She's probably excited. Got to go home to San Antonio over the break. But you know, Coach Nims also, one of the things that struck me, he's a graduate of Pittsburgh State. Of course, yep. most Aggies will remember there was a former head football coach that went there. Oh, named, his first, his named, first. Yeah, named Franci Francione. Francione, that's yeah, right. Coach Fran. Went to Pittsburgh State. I had never heard of it until he showed up. In so. Kansas, yes. yes. Absolutely. We got Sierra Johnson with the, uh, or excuse me, Malia Johnson called for the foul. And with that uh, cessation in play, we'll have four substitutions. And I think so. In the game for Texas A&M for Northwestern State, Doucette, Green, Cojicario, Cummings, and Vidal. And this is uh, Cummings. Cummings does a little stutter step in the paint. Now the ball gets over to the left corner to uh, Kaylin Green. Gets it out to Doucette. Doucette is going to go into the paint, kicks it out to Vidal. Vidal puts it up. It's off no good off the back iron. The rebound comes out to Kayla Wells. Aggies with the ball. This is Morris. Wells, three ball off the front rim. No good. Rebound and Dia Jones. She puts it up. We had a whistle and a foul, though. Foul is on Anessa Doucette. And shooting two will be in Dia Jones with 2.41 left to play. Uh, shoot two, yeah, because of the, uh, the five fouls. I was going to say that. Look. Foul thought it was on the rebound, but yep, yep. I had to look up and make sure there were That's five right. fouls. So the, it was on the floor. Uh, I was confused, too. I thought we had a four-point play going there because yeah. Jones actually made the bucket, but it doesn't count because the foul was on the floor. But she's shooting, too, yeah. because it is the fifth team foul, and she was, made the first. Yeah, it was prior to the shot. Right. Missed the second. It's 49-13, to 13, but the rebound by Aaliyah Wilson. Wilson to Dia. Dia, nice, right, nice job going right to the basket and putting it up off the glass, up and in. And Dia Jones. It's 51 to 13. And India now has seven points in the game. 225 left to play in the uh, second quarter. They would say green is fun yeah. to watch. I mean, just watch her facial expressions. <laughs> She's just having a lot of fun. You know what? If you haven't played in over a year, I would be too. <laughs> and that's true. She has not played competitively because she was uh, hurt last year. Redshirted last year, injury redshirt year. 
played here against us two years ago for the University of Tennessee. Five seconds call uh, against the Demons. Could not get the ball inbound. Nice defense there again by the Aggies. Got to love that. <laughs> And Dia Jones pointing to Kayla Wells because Dia right now is playing the five and Kayla's playing the four. And Gary Blair uses his four player to throw the ball in. And Dia goes, no, no, Kayla, you have to go back in and throw it in. I'll just go walk down and get set up on offense. So you've got to love that if you're the uh, Aggie defense and the defensive coaches there. Here's Zay Green. She's at the baseline, right side, gets it out to Morris. Morris goes in, but a whistle foul. Foul will be called on Kaylin Green. Morris will go to the line shooting two. Like you said, the uh, Aggies are in the bonus. With 2.05 left to play here in the uh, second quarter, 51 to 13 is the score. Alexis Morris, the uh, junior out of Beaumont, misses the first free throw. Transfer from Rutgers. She's, uh, that is only the third free throw that she has missed this year. She was 19 of 21 coming into the game. Makes the second one, so she's 20 of 20. Three now. Of course, those two big ones she hit at the end of the ball game against Texas kind right. of put her on the radar for a lot of Aggie fans. Full court pressure here by the Aggies. Trying to get the ball in, and they do. As uh, Vanette inbounds in the ball to Cummings. But they're having trouble with the pressure. Now give it back to Fanette. She gets her pocket pick. Morris, a little behind the back pass to Zay Green, and Green puts it up and in, and she gets fouled. So we'll just let me, let me play that highlight there. The Aggies do a nice job in the run and jump. Zay Green and Alexis Morris force the steal. And Alexis Morris with the behind the back pass to Zay Green on the left hand side, who goes up, finishes with the left hand when she's fouled, and a smile as big as wide as her face the whole time. And completes the three-point play. Well, got to call that the uh, Wells Fargo between the baselines highlight of the game right there. Everything that you had to do with that one, with the behind-the-back pass, the bucket, the drawing the foul, and you complete the three-point play. It's 55-13. to 13. And then the Aggies forced another timeout on this next entry pass. Coach, I'm sure uh, at some point the Aggies will pull off this trap, this full court defense. But again, holding, holding a Division I team to 13 points in one half of play is impressive. Alexis Morris outside to Aaliyah Wilson. Wilson goes into the paint, pull up jumper, short, no good. Rebound by Wilson. Wilson will put it up again, and this time it is good. And Aaliyah Wilson has eight points in the game. Full court pressure again by the Aggies. Here's Zay Green chasing. Uh, Washington down the court, gets the ball out to Kaitlin Green. Green's long two is no good, one and done. Rebound comes down to Morris. Morris comes down, stops, pops, and makes it. Alexis Morris has five points. 59 to 13 now. Minute eight left to play here in the uh, first half. Sir Brandon Collins, the sports information director, is busy on the record book trying to find out when the uh, last time the Aggies scored as many as uh, 59, or maybe more than 59, in a first half of play. There's less than a minute to play. There's a charge call against Tristan Washington as she was going oh, in against Nadia Jones. And gets called for the charge. Big collision, first one off the bench right there. Bob Starkey, though, real happy. Gary Blair said, but I'll go ahead and get you out of D. I don't need you getting hurt on a play like that. Washington has uh, three fouls now called on her. Tristan Washington. 45 seconds left to play in the first half. Here's Morris. Morris goes to the free throw line, shoots, and scores. From the free throw line, it's 61 to 13 with 36 seconds left to play in the first half. Here comes Cummings. Cummings kicks it out to Kalen Green. Now Green gives it to Alexa Marsh, who's into the ball game now for the Demons. First time we've seen her. Marsh is a junior from Goodyear, Arizona. Kick it out in the corner. Three ball is short. No good by Kaylin Green. But the rebound by Green on her own miss puts it up. It's long. No good. Rebound Doucette puts it up. And that's all the chances they get as it comes back out to uh, Malia Johnson. Johnson gets the ball back. Three seconds. Now two seconds. Get the ball to Morris. Morris shoots. Three ball. Got it. At the buzzer, Alexis Morris got it from the left wing. 64 to 13 is the score, and we are at halftime. Hey, Aggies, learn how you can take your business to the top with UPS. 
visit ups.com forward slash pivot to learn more about tools built to help you be unstoppable. 64-13. Going and blowing here in the uh, second half. The Aggies get the ball to start the second half. They move the ball to uh, Pitts over on the right side. Now get it to Zay Green. Green into the paint, puts it up too hard, no good. Rebound comes down to Aaron Harris of the Demons. Demons have the basketball. They're, he's up by 51 points here at halftime. Just started the second half of the game. Aaron Harris over on the left wing. She's going to hand the ball to Tristan Washington. Washington does a little stutter step on the outside, tries to get through a double team. Hook passes into Sion. Sion goes back out to Harris. Harris goes into a double team and puts it up in travel. She went in there against uh, Sierra Johnson and Zay Green and uh, other and uh, Malia Johnson and all of that together made her travel. Come down the other way. Nixon with the 15-footer is no good. Rebound out to Pitts. Pitts to Nixon. Nixon out to Malia Johnson. Now back out to Pitts. Her second three ball is good from the right wing. And Pitts has 18 threes this year. Again, the Aggies coming out, dropping back. Not, not the full court stuff now, but this is where, you know, one of the things I'd like to see them work on was just on their half court defense to stop dribble penetration. Dribbling the ball here is Harris. Harris tried to dribble through a double team again, and she lost her footing and lost the ball. It's a jump ball. It's a fight for it. Destiny Pitts gets in there to tie it up. The arrow belongs to the Demons. It'll belong to them. They'll have it out underneath their own basket. There's 11 left on the shot clock. No reset. Demons will inbound the ball deep to Cummings. Cummings going to go all the way around the arc from the right to the left, then pitches the ball out to Harris. Three seconds on the shot clock. Harris out to set. She's going to have to launch one. I think it was partially blocked by Pitts. And the, it'll belong to Texas A&M with the shot clock violation. Look at Gary Blair. He, he doesn't understand. He goes, yeah, the shot was blocked. Why didn't and we had the ball? Let the, right. let it go. Yeah. You know, because the Aggies <laughs> right. were already going in transition the other way. Yeah, I don't know why play stopped there with the shot clock violation. because Because it's 67-13. <laughs> yeah. The ball didn't go out of bounds or anything. Nixon with the three-pointer. It's off the front rim. No good. Whistle and a foul on Sierra Johnson. They're going to get her for over the back. Sierra thinks that she didn't commit a foul. But here, here's what if you're Coach Nims for, um, you know, from Northwestern State, you got to be happy with. You know, Julia Sion on the last two offensive possessions on the shot has not allowed Sierra Johnson. She's done a good job of boxing out. And those are the little victories and the little things if you're the if Coach Nims and the Demons that you've got to work on right now are just your individual battles and making sure you're doing what you need to do. This head dribbles the ball over on the left wing. Being guarded there by Malia Johnson. Now stops her dribble, tries to get it inside. The ball is stolen by Sierra Johnson. Johnson gets it down to Zay Green. Green over on the right side. Now kick it out to Jordan Nixon. Back to Sierra. Sierra, nice distributing it out to Zay Green. Green's three ball is no good. Sierra with the rebound, puts it up and in. Another nice put back by Sierra Johnson. Nice ball movement though and unselfishness again, like you said earlier, Tom. Sierra Johnson kicked it out. Zay Green with the shot. Sierra was able to get back in and get a nice little uh, look and get herself going. And there's Zay Green showing her athletic ability. With the steal, one on none, puts it up and in. And Zay Green with the easy two after the steal in her first Aggie appearance. Again, young lady who uh, went to Duncanville, a uh, juggernaut of high school girls basketball, then to Tennessee, a juggernaut of college women's basketball with such a great history there. McDonald's All-American and now playing for the Aggies. And this is her very first appearance. Reason she hadn't appeared before is because she, uh, because of NCAA uh, trying to be cleared by the NCAA. Here's a, a shot in and out. Just rattled in and out by Aaron Harris. One and done. The Aggies have the basketball. Zay Green did not get that clearance as quickly as uh, a couple of others did. Here's Pitts with a three ball, and now she has three of them from the right side. Destiny Pitts just knocked it down from the right side, and Pitts has 
Nine points in the game, or excuse me, 12 points in the game as we come down the other way. And a whistle and a foul. Foul that time on Julian. Jordan, Jordan Nixon, yeah. excuse me. And going to the line will be Anessa Doucette. Pitts has nine points, yeah, just on, the, on those three threes. That he just had. Jared Johnson's over there coaching him. And, and that's what, you know, Gary Blair, and this is times like that. You want to see your seniors step up and, and make some decisions and be the leaders that they, they should be. Sierra Johnson's talking to a couple people on the sidelines right now. Desette has five points, give it six. He just made the first free throw. 6.29 to play in the third quarter. It's 74 to 14. This is the 73rd start, you know, for the, the three, the big three, I guess we'll call them now, you know, with Sierra and Dia and, uh, and Kayla. Second free throw is good. It's 64 to 15 now. Jordan Nixon has the ball over on the left side. Now go right side to Zay Green. Her three ball off the front rim, top of the backboard, no good. Rebound, though, underneath by Malia Johnson, and Johnson puts it up and in. Nice finish, nice positioning there by Johnson to get the rebound. Really did, because that, that shot just kind of hung around the rim and bounced a couple times, and, and she didn't give up. Here's a uh, quick shot by Aaron Harris. It goes off the glass in the front rim. It's no good. Rebound by Texas A&M's Destiny Pitts. Pitts tries to get it down court. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by Harris. It'll belong to the Aggies. And here's Gary Blair talking to Zay Green. I want you to get wider. Stay wide. And, you know, make it an easier pass for Destiny Pitts to get up the floor. Green inbounds to Pitts. Now back to Green. Now come back outside to Nixon, and this one's to tap Benz. Benz's uh, eligibility ran out Did long it? ago. I was going to go ahead and petition the NCAA. I'm still, mine's just still tied up in the clearinghouse, just like <laughs> Zay Green. I think it's going to come back. That's right. But what happened was, was the NCAA on December the 16th, as we, uh, it was rumored that they were going to do, they went ahead and declared all transfers in NCAA basketball eligible. So that made uh, anything else kind of a moot point, and that's how Zay Green became eligible. And meanwhile, while we're talking, a uh, steal and a put back here by the Demons. Demon puts it up at 76 to 17, but come back the other way, and there's the fourth three-pointer by Destiny Pitts as she puts it in from the right side, right in front of the Aggie bench. And it's 79 to 17 now. The Aggies lead with 522 left to play here in the third quarter, and we've got a timeout. It's Aggie Bear provider of Texas A&M Athletics. A couple of players for the Demons are out, have been for a while, both with foot injury. Uh, Michaelis Washington and Karen Ford, both out with a foot injury. Official health care provider of Texas A&M Athletics is St. Joseph Health. Keeping an eye on the record book, you don't know how this, the rest of this game is going to go. we got 5-19 to play in the third quarter. The Aggies have scored 79 points, and they're up by 62. Here's uh, Cummings with the basketball, goes into the double team, and then backs up, puts it up, no good, gets your own rebound, puts it up and in. As Cummings sticking with it there and getting the two points. It's 79-19 now. And we're up to number 14, Tom. KK Green in the game. There it is. As uh, Kenyal Perry, I believe, is the only Aggie player who has not made an appearance in the game, but she will. Here's A. Green over on the right side being guarded by Doucette. Green goes baseline, kicks it outside to KK Green, who hits a three-pointer from the left side, and KK knocked it down, and that got her teammates up off the bench. It's 82 to 19. KK Green with the nice shot, her first three-pointer as a uh, college player. Nice shot. Here's the Demons with the basketball. Doucette going right into the basket and drawing the foul. That foul will be on Johnson, Malia Johnson. 4.17 left to play in the third quarter, and we've got a timeout. It's 82 to 19 is the score. We'll be back. Tacky basketball from Learfield IMG College. Now 
out. Anessa Doucette is at the free throw line, trying to get uh, the Demons 20th point of the game, and she does. It's 82 to 20. That three-pointer by KK Green is our UPS next day air delivery of the game. UPS, your package is guaranteed overnight delivery so your Aggie gear can arrive just in time for game day. Second free throw is missed. Visit UPS.com to learn more. UPS official logistics company of Texas A&M Athletics. Three ball by Sahara Jones is in and out no good. On the rebound, we've got a whistle foul. I think they're going to get Julia Sion right there. So Ellen Tofiano tried to go up, and she was being held down. She had to go up and rebound with one hand. The official right there made the call. Coming into the bound, into the game for the, the Demons is Claudia Vidal. She'll take the place of Julia Sion. Here's a nice inbound to Wells, and Wells just put it right up and in. Went up, got it, put it up, and it creeped over the front rim, and it's 84 to 20. Wells now has 11 points in the game. Pitts is the leading scorer, excuse me, Johnson, the leading scorer for the Aggies with 13. Pitts has 12. Here's a steal by AM. Sahara Jones tried to bounce pass it to Wells. Not enough on it, and it's stolen there by Nessa Doucette. Right idea, just about two dribbles too late. If she would have given it up sooner to Kayla Wells, it's an easy layup. She just took two more dribbles and then saw her, and then it was too late. Harris to Doucette, Doucette. Now get the ball over to the left side. Shot by Vidal is short, no good. Goes into the hands of KK Green. Green's gonna pull up, shoot, short, no good. Into the hands of, uh, of Topiano, and Topiano puts it up and in. It was, a, it was a pass, Tom. It was a pass the whole way. There you go, Ella Topiano. So give Green the assist on that one. I don't think they gave it to him. We'll see what they do. <laughs> 86 to 20. Topiano was in the right place, let's just say that. It's 86 to 20 now with three minutes to play here in the third quarter. This is Vanette. Vanette kicks the ball outside to uh, Harris. Harris has, tries a three ball off the front iron. No good. Long rebound comes off to AM. Wells has the ball. 247 left to play here in the third. This Northwestern State team really does a good job on the rebounding and trying to box out and get themselves in good position. To, to get either offensive or defensive rebounds. Malia Johnson pulls the string on a three-pointer that she'd rather have back, so the rebound comes out to the Demons. This is Aaron Harris. Harris now give it to Cummings. Cummings coming all the way around the arc, being guarded by Sahara Jones. They do a weave on the outside left side, get the ball to Doucette. Doucette now to Vanette. Vanette dribbles inside the arc, get it back out to Doucette. Hook passes out to Vanette. Vanette three ball off the front iron, no good. KK Green in the right place for the rebound. Nice positioning there by KK. Two minutes left to play here in the third quarter. It's 86 to 20. We'll start looking at this record book here in a minute. Get it into Ella Topiano. Topiano is called for the charge. She kind of lost control of herself going into the bucket and plowed into the doll. And that's the offensive call. I think Ella got a little frustrated there because she felt like she got pushed when she caught the ball. Uh, Vidal kind of pushed her in the back, so she just kind of lowered her left shoulder and said, I can go back right at you. But the official felt like she kind of was a little more aggressive than Vidal was. And she was. Here's Aaron Harris. She brings the ball over the timeline. Being guarded there by Sahara Jones. Well, tried to get the ball over to Doucette, but it's stolen by KK Green. She's going to come all the way down, tried to pass the ball over to Jones, but it's blocked and then goes out of bounds. Last touch by KK. Blocked that time, I believe, by Cho uh, Coach Cario. I believe that's who got it. Minute and a half to play in the third. Aggies have six turnovers in this ball game. Yeah. They had three at halftime. Here's Doucette, goes in against Malia Johnson, and not a good idea because Johnson was there to stop her, and she gets the steal, and Johnson comes all the way down and bounce passes the ball to Wells, who finishes and puts it up and in. It's 88 to 20 with a minute and 11 left to play here in the third quarter. Aaron Harris gets the ball over to jo uh, Coach Cario. Back to Harris over at the top of the circle. Dribbling the ball against Sahara Jones. Ball's going to go out of bounds. Last touch by Wells. It'll belong to the Demons. Looking at the, uh, the record book as we're here with 88 points with a minute left to play in the third quarter. Aggies most points ever team-wise in a game is 111. 
Kentucky keeping an eye on that. Here's a, a floater from the left side by Coach Acario. It's no good. Rebound by Sion. Up too hard. No good. That rebound comes down to Malia Johnson. I don't think they're going to make that today. Well, you're talking about uh, well, you're talking about 23 more points. They could, just depending on you know who's in there and what kind of what they run. Here's a long three ball. They keep doing that. Well, maybe well, not. There's a three ball by that, Sahara yeah. I'll Jones. Take that. I'll retract that statement. <laughs> she gets it from the corner that time. Sahara Jones just got her third three of her Aggie career. It's 91 to 20 now with the last 16 seconds of the third quarter being played. Alexia Marsh has the basketball. She dribbles deep in the front court, going against Jones. Now she's going to back up, give it out to Sion. Sion shoots in and out, no good. Rebound, comes down. Ball's in Sahara Jones's hand. Jones going to shoot right there at the buzzer. Wasn't in time. That's the end of the third. It's 91 to 20, Texas A&M. We still got 10 minutes left to play in the game. Texas Farm Bureau members get two free tickets to select A&M athletic events when you show proof of membership at the ticket office. Visit TexasFarmBureau.org slash sports to learn more. Boy, you went to DePaul and you went to Texas and you won and you both won. games on the road. And you beat a Rice team that always gives you trouble. Correct. Yep, right. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it was not uh, your, your complete cupcake schedule, as people might say, uh, by any means. All right, we start the fourth quarter. Mackenzie Green, Sahara Jones, Alexis Morris, Anna Dremene, and Malia Johnson are in the lineup for Texas A&M. So no starters in the lineup right now. Matter of fact, they may be done for the uh, for the night, I would suspect. Inbound the ball, get it out to Morris over on the left side. Now give it to Sahara Jones. Jones dumps it into Dramane. Dramane dishes it back out to Sahara Johnson. Or excuse me, Malia Johnson going to Dramane. Dramane puts it up off the glass, up and in. And Anna Dramane gets the two points. Nice bucket there by Anna. Hey, we're home. We can just say Anna. <laughs> <laughs> but again, a lot of patience right there by the Aggies. The Demons went to a zone. They did a nice job of reversing the ball, making the, the zone have to rotate. Finally getting it into the big player, Anna, who finished strong. Marsh goes in and finds Anna right there, decides not to shoot and give it to Sion. Nice uh, idea, and Sion puts it up and in. Gets the ball to Jones over on the left side. Now go over to McKenzie Green, and here's Jones. Jones shoots, three-pointer left side. It's short, no good. Chasing it down is Anna Dremene. Good hustle there, Anna. Gets it back out to McKenzie Green. Green goes into the paint, puts up a floater. It won't go. Anna with the rebound up and in. Dramane gets her second straight bucket as Anna Dramane has four points in the game. Eight and a half minutes to play in the game. The Aggies now 95 points to 22. Anna really did a nice job over the offseason and really kind of changed her, her body and, and dropped some of the lower, lower body weight that she had. And she's a lot more active around the basket this year because of it. Demons have the basketball. Kaylin Green had it momentarily. Now gets the ball to uh, Tristan Washington. Washington to Vanette. Vanette's going to go right into the paint, put it up off the glass, up and in. Nice bucket there by Michaela Vanette. Aggies basketball. This is Morris. Morris goes to McKenzie Green. Green goes over right side to to uh, Sahara Jones. Now back to McKenzie Green. Now go left side to Morris. Morris goes into the arc, finds a double team there, and comes back outside. Nice defense there by the Demons. Now give it to McKenzie Green. She goes into the paint. Her finger roll will not go too hard off the back iron. Rebound comes out to the Demons. Rebound by Julia C Sion. That's one of the hardest shots in basketball. People don't understand. When you're going straight to the basket and you're trying to put it right over the front of the rim, yeah. I would rather them still much rather look like a bad shot and use the backboard every time, though. Tristan Washington has the ball. That goes over to the left side, gets it out to Vanette. Her three ball is too long, no good. And the loose ball comes out to uh, Morris. Morris gets the ball down to Johnson. Johnson puts it up, hits short, no good. But on the rebound, a whistle and a foul. Again, you saw Alexis Morris in transition right there, how she's a magician with the basketball. She had a nice three on two break and she had uh, Mackenzie Green and also uh, Malia Johnson uh, on, on either side in the last second. She dropped that ball off to Malia Johnson who really should have knocked down that first shot and, and it didn't go, but give credit Mackenzie Green for sticking with it and not getting the rebound and getting to the line. That foul, I believe, was on Vanette. 
Kenzie Green goes to the free throw line, and she makes the first, her first free throw. 96 to 24. Second free throw on its way, got them both, McKenzie did. 97 to 24, 708 left to play. This will be the 18th time that a Texas A&M team has scored 100 points when they get three more. Here's Doucette, Doucette goes in against Dramanet and blocked. Blocked, blocked. Dramanet just said, don't bring that in here. And Dramanet gets the block, come down the other way. Here's Morris with the fall away jumper from the baseline left side, it's no good. Whistle and a foul on Tristan Washington that time, and that'll send Morris to the free throw line. Alexis Morris on the line, 48 shooting two. Morris, junior from Beaumont, the transfer from Rutgers. You heard it go through the net. Such a pretty sound, isn't it? It is. 98 to 24. Of course, the uh, Aggies scored 99 against Sam Houston State a couple of games ago. And they have 99 now. It's 99 to 24. What's the fewest points, Tom? I know you're, um, I know it's when you I get a break, yeah. So look that up here in a minute as the Demons come down and as Tristan Washington puts it up short, no good. Tremonet with the rebound. Will this be the 100? Who's going to get it? Pitts with a three. No, no good. Dremonet puts it up and in, and it's on. Dremonet puts the Aggies into triple figures, gets the 100 and the 101st point for Anna Dremonet. There you go. Nice job, Anna. And she's got six points in the game. Nice job of just following down. Again, didn't give up, even though Destiny Pitts had missed a shot. That ball looked like it was going in. Anna continued to get herself in good position. Here's a three ball that Dramane got a piece yeah. of that time. That's her second block of the game. And Dramane helps Harris up off the court also. Yeah, I was kind of thinking after the whistle that maybe the official might have called something after the shot, but they didn't. 101-24. And um, I'm going to have your answer here right here when we get a uh, – this is a uh, inbound that must have been tipped by the Aggies because there was no backcourt no, call. You can, you, can throw it the, you can throw it That's all the right. way back there. Indeed you can. Here's a three ball. It's no good right at the shot clock. And the uh, ball goes into the hands of Morris. Morris goes into the paint, puts it up. The floater, it dances on the rim. It will not go. The rebound comes down to Doucette. Demons have the basketball. Again, Doucette did a nice job of keeping on a Dramane off the boards right there. And there's a big, big height differential. Fewest points allowed by the Aggies in the game is 16. Here's the uh, drive to the uh, rim here by Tristan Washington. That was back in 1975 at Rice. That might have been even before you called me. Yes, it was. I got it. it was. I started in 83. Okay. Uh, excuse me, 93. Excuse me. The, uh, This could be in the top 10 of fewest points. Uh, the uh, tenth fewest points allowed by an A&M team is 32. Demons have uh, 24 right now. Here's the uh, inbound, and it's stolen there by Green. Green gets the ball, gets it to Pitts. Pitts shoots and got a little bounce off the glass and a bounce off the rim and put it in. That's too short, really, for Destiny Pitts to be shooting from. She's not used to that shot, but she got it. That's why it hit the rim. 103 to 24. 503 now left to play in the game. It's Tristan Washington being guarded by KK Green. Gary Blair still coaching over there, talking to Alexis Morris. This is yep. what you can do a little bit better. It's how you will become a Hall of Fame coach. You never stop coaching. Washington with the backup jumper baseline left side. It comes in short, no good. Rebound by Pitts. Pitts to McKenzie Green. Now to Zay Green. Go over to KK Green. That was Green, Green, Green. And KK Green hits a three from the right wow. side. <laughs> that the first, that that's the first time you've ever done that, huh? <laughs> McKenzie to Zay to KK. Green to green to green. And most importantly, 
<laughs> went in for the and three. And it went in. 425 left to play, and we've got a timeout. 106 to 24. This is Aggie basketball from Learfield IMG College. And like we said, the most points that they have ever scored is 111. They need five more points to do that. Not that that's what they're going for, but hey, when it happens, you you talk about it. Here's uh, the Demons with the basketball. They have it. This is Cummings. Cummings gets the ball off to uh, Sion. Sion, and Sion, nice shot, and she puts it up and in. Bob Starkey not happy. As soon as they got that dribble penetration and an easy bucket, he's over there. He's clapping his hands, slapping. He's not happy. This is what I talked about. You can't get lazy on the things you're working on. Pass it around, KK to Zay. Zay just hit a three from the top of the key. Zay Green. It's 109 to 26. I think we're going to. That was gonna, just green to green. What happened? Yeah, that way. <laughs> I think we're going to uh, have a record here tonight, Tep. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and Kenyall Perry yeah, going Kenyal to this. Perry is going to come into the game. Here's a uh, three-pointer. It's no good here by Harris. Rebound, fought for. Cummings comes up with it. Nice hustle there. And a whistle and a foul by Destiny Pitts. Pitts reaching in, trying to get the ball. 326 left to play in the game. Well, this is, I got a note here from uh, our old friend Steve Miller that 109 is the most points by a &M at, with Blair, with Coach Blair. Oh, yeah, okay, with Coach Blair. Right. That would be in uh, uh, 2006, McNeese State. That's right, yeah, that would be a, a McNeese State in 2006. 2009 against North Texas, they scored 108. Inbounding the ball. Now getting the ball to uh, Sion. Sion gets double teamed immediately. Gets the ball back out to Cummings. Now Cummings to Vanette. 317 left to play in the game. Now Vanette has the basketball. Gets the ball out to Cummings. Four seconds on the shot clock. It's going to be tipped out of bounds by KK Green. Three seconds on the shot clock. They'll inbound the ball. Mackenzie Green comes out. Sahara Jones comes into the game for the Aggies. Van Ed will inbound the ball. They have three seconds on the shot clock. Bounce pass into Washington. Washington's going to put it up. No good. Nice shot. Just would not fall. And the rebound comes down to Texas A&M. Aggies have the ball. This is KK Green. A three ball would break the all-time scoring record for the Aggies. Two ball would tie it. Sahara Jones has the ball over on the left side. Now gets the ball inside to Johnson. Johnson out to KK. Three ball, got it. She rattled and went. And the Aggies have scored the most points that they have ever scored in a basketball game in the history of this program, 112 to 26. The record was against Lamar November the 15th, 1995, 26 years ago. 25 years ago. Here's a three ball by Vanette. It's no good, and the rebound. Comes down to Sahara Jones. Jones quickly out to Pitts, left side. Three ball, too hard, no good. Rebound comes down to Julia Sion. Now we need to worry, see Sion. if this is, is this the uh, largest scoring uh, victory, margin of victory ever? Well, I've, funny you should ask, because I've got that too. The largest margin of victory is with the math is, yes yes this is going this is probably going to be the largest margin of victory too the record is 83 and right now we're at what are we at we're at 86 well then we, we're just setting records left and right. yep. the uh the record 83 twice rice in 1975 and mcneese state in 2006 was an 83 point margin. So we'll see if that uh, stays with a minute 45 left to play. Again, this is just record book stuff. It's nice to uh, get records. First thing you want is the uh, win. You get to give everybody a bunch of minutes. You're not gonna see any, a lot of individual records in this because everybody has played. Here's Vanette with the inbound with a minute 41. She'll back up for a three ball. It's too hard, no good. Rebound by Mackenzie Green. Aggies have the basketball and 112 points on the scoreboard. KK Green has the ball, gets it over to the right side. Now over to McKenzie Green, now get it to Jones. Sahara, free ball, in and out, and almost back in again. Rebound comes out to Tristan Washington. 
Washington comes over the timeline, now gives the ball to Cummings. Cummings now to Tristan Washington again. Minute seven left to play in the game. Here's uh, Washington being guarded by Sahara Jones. Who's doing a good job of just keeping her in front, keeping her body, and those are the things that you need to work on at this time. Good team defense, good recovery. Cummings three ball, won't make it. Rebound though, nice hustle there by Cummings to get that offensive rebound. Kenyel Perry was, was boxed out that time by uh, by Vidal, and, and really those are, again, I'm just very impressed with the way they box out on both ends of the floor. Six seconds on the shot clock. Washington with the dribble out top of the key. Now goes to the free throw line, gets the ball to Vidal, and she puts it up at the shot clock. No good. And with 25 seconds left to play in the game, you got to figure that the Aggies are going to dribble this one out. Matter of fact, yeah. that's what Gary Blair is calling for right now. 112 to 26 is going to be your final score here in the game as they'll dribble this one out. The Aggies, for the first time in their history, have gone undefeated in non-conference play. How about that? They go to 9-0 and in non-conference play. 112 to 26 is the final score. Hey, stay tuned for our post-game show. It is brought to you by St. Joseph, the official health care provider of Texas A&M Athletics. Zaggy basketball from Learfield IMG College.